Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be presented with a Ripple of Hope Award on Tuesday, December 6, by the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Association for their heroic stance against the structural racism of the royal family. However, a staggering 94% of Express.co.uk readers do not support the Duke and Duchess of Sussex receiving this honour, a new poll has found. The couple is expected to attend the gala event in New York alongside prestigious figures including Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, and CEO of the Bank of America, Brian Moynihan who are all being honored for their steadfast commitment to social advancement, furthering equality, justice, and human rights. President of the Association, human rights activist and daughter of Mr. Kennedy Kerry Kennedy will host the ceremony. She praised Harry and Meghan for having the courage to challenge the royal family's power structure. She told The Telegraph last month, they went to the oldest institution in UK history and told them what they were doing wrong, that they couldn't have structural racism within the institution, that they could not maintain a misunderstanding about mental health. She continued. They knew that if they did this there would be consequences, that they would be ostracized, they would lose their family, their position within this structure, and that people would blame them for it. They have done it anyway because they believed they couldn't live with themselves if they didn't question this authority. I think they have been heroic in taking this step. However. The couple's acceptance of the award has caused controversy with royal commentator Jenny Bond describing the move as brazen. She claimed it was another dig at the firm and another open declaration that they believe Meghan was treated in a racist way. Speaking to OK Magazine, she said, it's really hurtful and a very rude presumption. I don't believe there is structured racism in the royal family. This very public accusation is a huge kick in the teeth for them again. It's very brazen of them to have accepted the award. I understand that there are limited options of what you can do after being presented with an honorary award. Should they have refused it? Or say it's not appropriate? It's hard to say, but overall, it's a really sad situation. Previous recipients include current U.S. President Joe Biden, former Presidents Barack Obama, Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary, U2 singer Bono and Desmond Tutu. In a poll that ran from 1 p.m. on Wednesday, November 23rd, to 12.30 p.m. on Monday, December 5th, Express.co.uk asked readers, should Meghan and Harry accept award as Royal Row threatens to explode? In total, 12,428 people responded with the overwhelming majority, 94 percent, 11,722 people, answering no the couple should not accept their award. A further 5 percent, 665 people, said yes they should, while 51 people said they did not know either way. Hundreds of comments were left below the accompanying article as readers shared their thoughts on the Ripple of Hope Award. Many readers argued that Harry and Meghan should not accept the award, with username Carla W commenting, if Harry walks out on that stage and accepts that award. He might as well wave goodbye to any hope he had of ever being on good terms with his father and brother. Username Carla wrote, If they do it will be game over for the pair. No more invites to anything royal. Another, username Asexangel, said, No, they.